So, you're socially awkward. Right? So we've got something in common. Right? If you weren't, then you wouldn't be sitting here watching YouTube. You'd be going out. I'm hungry. Let's go get something to eat where I can interact with people in a normal social environment. Even if you are socially awkward, we all have one thing in common. We get hungry. And we can't always afford to go out and eat. Or maybe even a psychopath. I don't know. We've got to dig through our fridge and see what there is to eat. Yep, leftovers. Hello, welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour. I am Sean. I won't be cooking poison. We're going to be doing leftovers today. Woo! How exciting is that? If you can distract your eyes from my shirt, my skulls and crossbones. Today's influence will be, everybody knows that the best part of Crown Royal is the little bag it comes in. Crown and Diet Coke. What can you do with that? You can make a tool bag. This shirt is really busy. Oh my God. It could be a little purse, if you're of that sort of inclination. What are we gonna do? I think I need a bigger bag to make a good hat. Oh, we're gonna drink. Yeah. If you're into all that organic crap, mm, use it as a little bag when you go to the market so you don't have to use plastic. What's wrong with this picture? That's the problem. The picture's fixed. So anyway, we have to dig through our fridge. Okay, some of this is from previous episodes, some of it isn't. Crown Royal, as everyone knows, is Canadian whiskey. We have a plate of chicken bones. Um, chicken bones. And as all Americans are, we are very well educated about what goes on in Canada. I think we just got a new empty plate. Cornbread. For example, what is the national currency of Canada? As we all know, it is the Canadian Ruple. I think I made this on some episode recently. Unlike in the United States where the national currency is credit cards. Or in Mexico where the national currency is prepaid phone cards. I think we just got a new empty pie plate. Here we have a tub full of brown stuff. What is Canada's biggest export? I think this is the schnitzel I made the other day on the German episode. I think it's hockey. Or maybe beavers? It has onions in it. Oh, it tastes pretty good. Weather. It could be weather because coal fronts are really big. Oh, here's an empty bag. Oh, and this is potato salad that I made on the German episode too. Still tastes vaguely like peanut butter. What tastes like peanut butter? Potato salad. You're kidding. Don't be afraid to throw food away because this is America. You can waste it. And this is a chunk of something. Unlike Canada, where you can't waste anything or else the Mounties will come along and get you. Oh, it's the end of a pork roast I did. Some crazy ass mushrooms that I must have bought at the store. It's increasingly walrus-like. Don't buy expensive food if you don't know what to do with it. Cooking under the influence tip. Fuck, I don't know. Something. You could have the potato salad with the schnitzel on top of it like we did before, but then you just, that's just a rerun. And who wants reruns? Then that's boring. Does Canada export walruses? I don't know. Oh look, it's a pot of boiling water. Let's add some olive oil to it. Let's add some pasta to our magically boiling pot of water. Five million tons of butter in my fridge. Potato salad into a bowl. And 
Sour cream? Why does it get this liquid and shit? Let's see what happens. Now that we've created a bigger mess than we ever hoped to achieve. You know what it's like to taste hair all the time? Here's a schnitzel. I don't know. Click subscribe. I feel some oven coming on. If you want to do it at 5 million degrees centigrade, I am all about that. That's fine. A giant portobello mushroom that I didn't really even know I had. Let's sort of saute it. Ooh, the dogs are going to have a feast. See what kind of random spice shit you have in your cabinet. Here's some celery seed. Who knows what to do with celery seed? I don't freaking know, but I'm adding it to this crap. Look, I found an onion. Look, it's like in my mouth. Ah! I feel a trip to the barbershop coming on tomorrow. I don't know. All right, the shit you can't pick up because your hands are too slippery, you leave it on the floor. I feel so empty. A big part of cooking is dealing with shit later. Because you just can't be bothered with it right now. I think I should have done the onions before the meat and the mushrooms. you think that you wouldn't have as much shit to clean up afterwards with leftovers because you've already cooked. This pan is dry. It needs butter. Woo! I found it in my fridge. In, in my fridge. Like I keep this in my fridge. It was in my pantry cabinet drawer thing. Your onions, your mushrooms are way overcooked. Whatever the hell this pan is that I found. And don't remember buying. Why is my refrigerator beeping? Alright, these potatoes are going on top of this random conglomeration melange board collective. Ow, fuck, it's hot! Hive bunch of ingredients. The technical term for what we're doing is smash it down. Oven. Oh, here's some pork stuff. Cubit, like Picasso. A cubic, which is the length of a man's arm from his shoulder to his wrist. If you're a woman, you can't measure cubits. Because it's the length of a man's shoulder to wrist length. <laughs> I'm a fucking genius. I know everything. I'm only reporting. Don't kill the messenger. One of the great things about Canada is their healthcare system. A crazy ass fucking oyster mushrooms. Because everyone knows millions of people die every day waiting for a doctor's appointment or to get their test results. No idea how to cook them. Unlike America, where you die here immediately. Trust me. So we'll put them in a pan with some meat. Sure, why not? I actually wrote a book. I didn't just do stupid videos. And in the book, I kill people. Because you can get away with killing people in text. You will get in the pan. Cheese! In a book, you cannot get away with a shirt like this. And the benefits of Canada. Some other shit we had in our uh, device. Refrigerator. The best part about grating cheese here is when it falls down between the stove and the counter where you can't get to it. That makes me so happy. I'm an American. We're deprived of international influence. Oh, American food, what's that? Hamburgers. Really? Yeah, oh look, it's like a big giant wad. Overdone is the chef's way of saying burned. Not light cream, heavy. Butter. Oh wait, is that not, not enough fat for you? Let's add some frickin' cheese. How do you know it's overdone? Because it's all fucking black. 
If something is full of cheese, you can't complain about it. Oh, it has so much cheese. This is so delicious. Let's put that on there until the cheese turns to fire and we all die. The danger factor. If you were in Canada, then you wouldn't have to worry about this shit because So when you think your shit is done in the oven, you should take it out. Ugh, cover with cheese, which used to be potato salad. Me, I'm hiccuping. We'll call that a shepherd's pie. Cause shepherd's pie has layers of meat, potatoes, and cheese. Pasta and cheese. Then you know, oh, wow, I am fucking drunk that the dog should probably eat it off the floor. How does this taste anyway? Using leftovers is you can make comfort food. Okay, it tastes great. I use some German shit, and you know, the first thing that you think of when you think of German is comfort. Uh, Burning hot fucking shepherd's pie, sorta. <coughs> Mac and cheese with other shit. May the sneeze fairies not cause me pneumonia. Adios and bon appetit. Times have changed. Our kids are getting worse. They won't obey their parents. They just want to fight and curse. Should we blame the government? Or blame society? Or should we blame the images on TV? No! Blame Canada! Blame Canada! Before the beady 